Hello again everyone, my name is James Shotwell and this is the Music Biz Channel. It's good to be with you again. My guest today is Alex Jones, the vocalist for Undeath, an American death metal band that has taken the world by storm and whose new album, It's Time to Rise from the Grave, arrives this April through Prosthetic Records. Now we've talked about Undeath a lot in the past, but this new album feels different. It has been a long time since an American death metal band has reached the global stage, but that's where Undeath is and their sophomore album hasn't even hit shelves. During this quick five minute interview, Alex and I discussed the band's history, how they've changed their marketing and promotional efforts from the first album to the new one, what they do to come up with their music videos, as well as their merch designs, as well as a little bit on the state of death metal as a whole. It's a quick conversation, but a very informative one, and it's coming at you right now. All right, man, we got five minutes on the clock. So I want to start with the very basic question, which is I love how Undeath has become a band that gets people talking about death metal in a way I don't think we have in a long time. What do you accredit like that early success to? Because I felt like all of a sudden people were just talking about the band. So like, when did you see things shift? You know, I think a lot of it just had to do with being in the right place at the right time. Uh, I think, you know, not not taking away from any, any aspects of our band that I'm proud of, but I just think we happened to start a death metal band right at the same time that there was this you know resurgence of new young death metal bands happening in in america so i think it was just it was a lot of luck on our part just when to start the band was was crucial but beyond that i mean i noticed things kind of getting crazy right after we dropped sending autolysis the second demo that's really when things started to ramp up in terms of like people talking about our band and i think it's just been getting crazier and crazier like every month ever since I would agree. Every month it does feel like that. And now that we have the new album coming, it feels like since, I guess, February, it's really started to ramp up. So going into the new album, what did you guys want to do differently promotion-wise, if anything? Because the first record was really successful and people talk about it right out the gate and I spent months talking about it after the fact. So how do you raise the bar on like a promotional aspect? I think we just wanted to like have a better idea of what we were doing this time promotionally because... And I know that sounds ridiculous, but when we released Legions, the first album, like none of us had ever really done anything close to like a press cycle or anything like that. So we were completely green with the whole process. We basically just like, you know, we didn't do a lot of interviews. We just kind of like did whatever prosthetic label told us to do and we did with that. And obviously things worked out great. But with this album, we kind of wanted to like hit it a lot harder, do a lot more interviews, do a lot more promotional stuff, do a lot more like YouTube features and stuff like that. And really just kind of like get out in front of it way more than we did with the last record. Now, I think you guys are definitely setting a trend with this because I see, uh, it's funny, you are, usher, you are ushering in a new era of these bands where more of them are seeming to get attention, even if they're just kind of riding some coattails in a way. But what I'm curious about is, is the YouTube stuff because you have been putting out some crazy YouTube clips right now. So it, like, is that you, who's, who's the person that's coming up with some of these YouTube video ideas? Is it the whole band or is it one person's vision? It's basically the whole band, you know, we, uh, although the songwriting stuff tends to kind of all stem from like Kyle and a little bit less so, but also like Jared and Tommy, like all the string players, when it comes to like the, the visual aspect, like the music videos and stuff like that, that's way more of a collaborative effort. So really the goal wasn't anything specific when we set out to make the videos. We just wanted to do stuff that was eye catching. We wanted to do stuff that was funny, but not like corny. Uh, we wanted to do stuff that was like horror movie inspired, but not like cheesy. Uh, mm -hmm. And and yeah, and then once we kind of had that goal in mind, it was smooth sailing from there. Now, I feel like a lot of bands worry that they're going to do something that their fans are like, this doesn't make sense for us. But when you're called on death and I have a song called Head Splattered Seven Different Ways, I feel like you get a little bit more rope to be like, this. <laughs> like as long as you deliver on the promise of the song title, you're allowed to do what you want. <laughs> yeah, I, I would definitely agree with that. And I think thankfully, uh, you know, we have a pretty wide cross section of fans. You know, I feel like uh, people, all different kinds of people like our music, whether it's just people who exclusively listen to death metal. And I know there's people who were like one of maybe two death metal bands that they listen to, period. So I feel like uh, people know what to expect with us and, and go into it with an open mind. So now that the album is coming out in just a few short weeks from when we're talking now, I guess about a month at this point, um, you guys are really revving it up. So, you know, we have about a minute left, so we might as well get some promo in here. What is on the undeath uh, calendar? Well, uh, the big thing right now is obviously the album is coming out uh, April 22nd on Prosthetic Records. 
Um, and then uh, like a week after that, we're going out on a full U.S. tour with Dying Fetus, Chelsea Grin, Body Snatcher, and Frozen Soul. Uh, it's like six, six and a half weeks, something like that. And uh, it's hitting, you know, most major cities and markets in the United States. So uh, just touring, touring heavy. That's that's the goal. And last question, what is the secret to great merch? Because finding your merch in the wild can be hard unless you're seeing it on another person. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know if there is a secret. I think it's just like uh, for us specifically, it's like we just design merch that we would want to wear. And uh, I think just being true to yourself, as corny as that sounds, like, you know, if, if you're making a design and you think it sucks, don't print it. Like, you know, make stuff that you believe in that you would wear yourself. Perfect. Look at that. 455, five seconds to spare. You made it, Alex. You've done it. You've done a five minute interview. We actually Yay. asked. I want to take a second to thank Alex Jones of Undeath for participating in Fast Five today, along with the band's publicist, Nikki Law of Breaking the Law PR, and the band's label, Prosthetic Records. Once again, it's time to rise from the grave, hit stores this April, and the band's tour with Dying Fetus kicks off at the end of April and runs through the first half of May. If you have a chance, go see it. You won't be disappointed. As for me, I'll be back again soon with even more Music Biz content, covering what's happening in our industry, how to succeed in it, and of course, more interviews like the one you've just seen. So if you'd like to see that, please take a moment and click the subscribe button down below. Your support means everything. It gives me a job. It gives us purpose. It gives us a sense of direction. It just makes us feel good. So please click that button if you haven't done so already. And if you have, thank you for your support. I'll be back again soon. But until then, take care of yourself because you deserve it.